Why, sir, you find no man at all intellectual who's willing to leave London? No, sir. When a man is tired of London, he's tired of life, for there is in London all that life can afford. If you wish to have a just notion of the magnitude of this city, you must not be satisfied with seeing its great streets and squares, but must survey the innumerable little lanes and courts. It's not in the showy evolutions of buildings, but in the multiplicity of human habitations which are crowded together that the wonderful immensity of London consists. Dictionary. Noun, singular, a book containing the words in any language in alphabetical order with explanations of their meaning, a lexicon, a vocabulary, a word book. Had Shakespeare had a dictionary of this kind, he had not made the woodbine entwine the honeysuckle. In Gough Square, I had the upper room fitted out like a counting-house for the purpose, in which I gave to the copyists their several tasks. Sir, I look upon every day to be lost, in which I do not make new acquaintances. Life has no pleasure higher or nobler than that of friendship. There is nothing which is yet to be contrived by man by which so much happiness is produced as by a good tavern or inn. There is in this world no real delight, but exchange of ideas in conversation. No man is much pleased with a companion who does not increase, in some respect, his fondness for himself. I hate a fellow whom pride or cowardice or laziness drives into a corner, and who does nothing when he is there but sit and growl. Let him come out as I do, and bark.'